just like how we see ourselves and figure out like comparing ourselves to like not only influencers but like famous people could be setting us up for failure and i'm a grown-ass woman asking this question imagine if you're like 14 i'm not gonna beat myself up we're just gonna take it one day at a time today's a new day and today i'm cooking sis had i been thinking i would have roasted some garlic and made like a garlic butter for it It's raining, you guys. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. I just got off the phone with um, Dr. McConnell, my RE. And so, yeah, I was confused. I did. I never scheduled my Braverman follow-up because I was waiting to clear up the endometritis. Oh, I'm in the dark. I'm looking at my belly and not paying attention. Because I never, because um, I hadn't been cleared yet. So I was just like, oh, wait, because... Just why well, pay interest on that money if I don't if I'm I don't need the information yet. You know what I mean? Like if I would have went in December, I'd have been paying interest. Oh, it's like raining slash snowing. Like I can see it's snow coming down, but it's hitting. It's too warm. So as soon as it hits, like for two seconds, then it just waters. I would show you guys, but I don't know if my camera is that. Let's see. Come on, iPhone. Let's try. Look at the shelf and see if you can see it there. Um, did you guys see it? Let me know down below because I can't really, like, I, I don't have my glasses on. So after I try to see it in the lens, I couldn't really see it. I zoomed it, but I can't see it as clear as, like, right here. Um, what did you guys say? That I'm farsighted because of that, I think. I can see far? No. Is it the what I can see that they're calling or what I can't see that gives you? Like I'm short-sighted because I only can see far? I always get it mixed up. Help me out, y'all. Anyway, so I talked to Dr. McConnell and I don't know, it gave me hope. I don't know why I thought the last time she talked, like when she said I might need a surrogate, that if this biopsy didn't come out right, that I would be moving on to surrogate. And she was like, no. She was like, we're gonna get rid of the endometritis. We just have to find the right, pro right protocol. And so, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I don't know, that made me feel better. But I explained her, so she was like, you can, you know, she understood what I was saying when I explained about the money part of it, because she's a doctor. I think she's like, she's thinking just the medical, like when are you getting the medical? And I was like, I just don't wanna pay interest on it if I don't need it. And so, but then she was like, you know, there is validity in waiting. And so I will schedule it. I'm, Oh, I'm on my phone. I will schedule it for, she said I should have my biopsy results within a week. So if my biopsy is on the 28th, I'll have my results the first week of February. So maybe I'll schedule my stuff for the second week of February. So, cause that's still, I'm not, it wouldn't even be due for my next period yet. So if everything came back clear, I could get a protocol for, oh my God, I could get a protocol for a February transfer. Y'all, I'm gonna leave it there. I could, I could. Honestly, I just did not think that was gonna be a reality. I don't know why I just was trying to pace myself for March and it still may end up being March. So let me not get hyped. But like this moment right now, I'm just not realizing like it is an actual possibility. I just been trying to hedge my bets, protect my feeling, protect my heart. I know we talked about this, we talked about this during our vision board party and it's there's there's no protection right i don't know that's why i've been a little off kilter too like you try but it doesn't hurt any less but i've just been trying not to like focus on it too much so yeah so i guess anything i want to get done to my face or my body or my eyes we, we're gonna have to get it done we're gonna have to get it done i'm pretty sure they don't do lasik on pregnant ladies right <laughs> Um, or Kybella or any of that. So we already got that scheduled. But oh my goodness. 
Matter of fact, it's the second, it's a first Wednesday of February that I'm getting my Kybella and my Othero. So, yeah. All right, let me get my teeth brushed. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> and uh, take my hair down. Everything feels better. Oh, yeah. I dab, dab, dab my behind my ears with alcohol last night um, before, or actually this morning, because I'm no cap. I went to bed at like 4 o'clock. I didn't even leave my living room, like, editing stuff till 3.30. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. And then I went and watched This Is Monsters and something else before I got sleepy. So, yeah. I don't know why I started talking about that. Something about, oh, up, up, in a way. Let me, let me get ready and get on my first phone call, um, my first meeting. And I did load the dishwasher and wash the dishes last night. So I'm gonna put those away. I'm gonna put my, see if my clothes are dry. And you know, I need to get yoga on the menu this morning. I overslept, but, oh, it's nine. Okay, I'll be back. Let me figure out what I'm doing. two meetings done and woo um and this coffee is so good I, I need to heat it up because i didn't get to drink it as fast as i wanted to but the mocha if you haven't tried that one sis oh my god mm. it is the business um i cut some new eyelashes and put them on i'm getting better at it i, I think it's the eyelash liner glue that helps and now i also i'm just getting used to it i'm not as intimidated to like lift it up and move it but definitely the liner being applied to my face makes it easier instead of just to the lash because then the glue i don't know it's just i just like set it on top you know what i mean and i can overline so i have like a little bit of um a little hiding spot, if you will. I don't know. I'm just getting better. I used to do it and they would be like so far apart from my real lashes. And I couldn't like, I don't know if I was intimidated or just needed practice. The only thing, whenever I could like physically learn something new, I always compare it to my first um, W-2 job, which was McDonald's and learning how to do the fries. And I remember being so freaking intimidated by the fries, making fries when I first started. Like the basket was heavy, flipping it over. I was afraid of burning myself. And by the time I left that joint, I could I could have done fries in my sleep. You know what I mean? Like quick. So hopefully my eyelashes will get like that. But I am going to get them some eyelash extensions this weekend. So um, but the way these are applied, I don't think these will take off my extensions. The other ones when I was applying them, I would start snatching them out. Because I do like this for like, I mean, this is a more natural lash, but I do like the strip lashes for like a dramatic effect. Because otherwise I look like a naked mole rat. You know, I ain't got but nan. I got maybe two and a half lashes <laughs> and my hair is thin. So <sighs> anyway. I'm feeling better. I don't know. Something about talking to Dr. McConnell and just like, I don't know. There's actually a plan. There's actually a plan. I just felt like I was in limbo for so long. I'm going to make oatmeal. It's only 1045. But I, you know what? I'm just going to eat. I think I've been putting too many rules on myself. I'm just going to eat. I'm not going to worry about timing. I'm not going to worry about until I have the mental space for it. And right now I just, I don't have the mental space for it. I want to work on just getting like organized as far as that new planner. I decided I'm going to put my brand deals in there and yeah, I'm, I'm going to make oatmeal long story short. I'm going to get organized. I'm going to make oatmeal. I'm going to stop putting restrictions on my food and because I feel like what happens is, you know, I'm a Taurus. I'm stubborn. When I put too many rules on it and then when I get cranky, I'm like, fuck all the rules. And then I just start going crazy. So 
if there aren't any rules, I'm not going to do that, right? Like, I'm not going to just binge out on sugar or carb it up or whatever, because um, there won't be a such thing as a binge or a carb it up. It'll just be, I'm going to eat when I'm hungry, and I'm going to eat what I eat, and we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> I know I can't do it indefinitely, but just for the next couple of days and see how that feels. Yeah, I didn't do my lemon water yet. I don't know what a lemon water chaser is going to be like. Oh, you know what? I can just do a whole bottle and put a little bit of lemon and a little bit of monk fruit. It'll be like a little lemonade And that way I get my um, lemon in and take my vitamins. I want to do my glutathione today. So that's what's going on. How are you doing, hotties? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Oh, you guys got a vlog today? I got to edit and then you'll get another vlog on Saturday. I think... I think we may have found our groove. Make sure your post notification bell is turned on, sis, because, you know, I'm finding my way over here. I'm finding my way. And then I feel like I've totally abandoned the other channel. And I, I do have content. Like, I have a list of content that I want to make, but I just haven't made it. So I think tonight is... And I have group therapy. But if I... Let's see. If I edit from, like, 5 to 6, and then I can do... Yeah, because I want to get you guys on Friday. So one went out today. Maybe it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I got to figure out the posting days, but I think it's going to be three vlogs per week and then like a, a non-vlog video because I have stuff that I'm going to record this Saturday after I get my eyelashes done. Yeah. Turn your post notifications on, long story long, and that way you don't miss a video. And we're going to start our book club. We're going to get ready for, so if you haven't gotten your book yet, please get your book. Let me just show you what we're doing. It's the Brene Brown book, Atlas of the Heart. So that is what we're going to be reading for the channel members. Um, we'll have a Google Meet to discuss it at the end of the month. But yeah, I'm excited. We have to pace it out. I'll mark it up. But in this vlog, I'll mark it up like how many we are we should target to read um, per week. Like you don't have to. If you read it, you read it. Or you skim it, you skim it. Just enough so we can have a conversation about it. But you know, I need to break it up so that because February, well, I was going to say it's a short month, but it's only short a couple days. So maybe we just start like, um, when will you guys see this video? So today is the 20th, right? So you guys will probably see this next week this time, which is like the 27th. So does that give you enough time? I'll also put it in the community tab, but that should give you enough time. And so I'll link the book in the description below. But yeah, the 27th, because I got it on Amazon. I got it like three days later. So if you see this on the 27th and you get your book, you should have it by the first or thereabouts. But I'll break it down of like when we need to do it. So far, I think it's just me and you, Tasha, that'll be in the book club. If other people join, they join. Um, we can figure it out. But other people can read along, even if you're not a channel member, because I will do a little bit of reading in some of the vlogs and then we'll tie it back. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on there. All right, let me get my oatmeal. I need to thaw out my berries. I froze the bag of strawberries and now it's like one big blob. So I got to figure out, I, I'm, I don't know. Cause I don't have like freezer bags. I have the stashers. Maybe I should have broken it up, but then that just seems like I'd be wasting the stasher. You know what I mean? Like, but I guess after I open the strawberries, I might as well put them in some type of bag. But see, it's like, this is solid. Like, Oh, there's like two strawberries. So, but I want to go, I, I do have this like old school freezer bag. Yes, I'm a country girl. I have that. I wash it out. I dry it and it continues to work. Um, because that bag was too big to go in the stashers that I have. So let me know what you guys do with your frozen berries. I also have like a little keto berry thing for smoothies. It has avocado in it. I just haven't felt like having smoothie. I'm not going to do it now either while I'm on my period because I just feel like that coldness is will um, trigger cramps. Although that coffee ice cream didn't do it, sis. <laughs> okay, let me stop playing around with y'all and get to, get to getting... <laughs> I 
just had my one on one with my manager. She was showing me these weight training things because I was unpacking my um, weights that I got while I was talking to her. She said it's actually, everybody is getting them. It's from NBCU Zen, which is like an internal brand for health and wellness for employees. So it's, it's not ERG leads. This is about doing, um, taking care of yourself. So, and I realized I can put these on my ankles and my wrist. So I got them on my ankles for now. They're one pound each. I'm going to do my wrist. Um, I think I'll do it tomorrow because she was talking about alternating days. So I think I'll do it. And she said that helps you when you start lifting weights to increase your reps. Like she's on a program where they increase the reps every week, but like, or the weights and the reps, <sighs> not the reps. There's a rep pattern. They increase the weight. So like to go from 10 to 15 can be a leap. So she was saying what she'll do is add the ankle weights or wrist weights in between. And that helps her build up. Right. So she'll go from like, instead of going from 10 to 15, she'll go from 10. Then one day it'll be 11, then 12. And she builds up to the 15. I'm like, Oh girl, that's my speed. So and she showed me some shoulder stuff. She said shoulders are, expect that to be difficult. It could be a female thing. Anyway, I have my interview with this icon in like 15 minutes. I have not done my oatmeal. I thought the berries. Here's what they're looking like. So I'm going to let those sit. It'll be okay. It'll just thicken up. And then I'll put that. So oatmeal will probably be, hopefully this man is on time. And hopefully I can get him done in 30 minutes. And so I can eat at 1230. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling better today, guys. Sorry about yesterday. It was like a little off. I, I hope I didn't mess up anybody's energy. I'm mindful of that. I try, I try, I try. But I'm a human being. And so I can't only post like when I'm happy and excited. You know what I mean? There are times where I'm not. And so I try to measure it out so that I'm not just like dumping it on you guys. Um, anyway, let me, let me get set up for this and get situated. Cause I got to do it on my laptop. Um, let me move my laptop over. Whew. All right. I'm starting these today. The NMN, uh, which is nicotinamide mononuclide i take it's a nad precursor so nad plus and anti-aging support i take a nasal nad as well a spray and then i just have all my vitamins that i'm doing today coq10 i did some vitamin d today i got the oh my god the knack i can't remember zinc the colonate all that fun stuff. So I don't take the exact same vitamins every day. I switch it up. Well, the CoQ10 I'm taking every day, but the other ones, like I don't need vitamin D every day. The, um, who was it? Oh my God. I can't even remember who I saw. The endocrinologist, the regular endocrinologist told me not to take them every day because my vitamin D was super high. So I mix them up. But so I'm, this is my first day taking this. So I wanted to show you guys. I'll let you know how it goes, if I like it. This is the one that I take nasally. It's just literally spray, sniff. So yeah. And these, the Niagen I also take. Cause I'm doing all this stuff for the top of my skin, but you know, you need cellular support. So this I take too, True Niagen, which is cellular energy and repair. This one is um, nicotin. Oh my god, niacin? No, nicotinamide, nicotinamide, riboside chloride is what this one is. This is a variation. B nicotinamide mononucleotide is this one. So we'll see. It's day one. <laughs> Let's see what, what it do. I'm going to give it um, at least two weeks if you know. Let me see what it feels like in two weeks. I should be able to feel something at that point. And then we'll decide if we'll continue. But yeah, I'm making my oatmeal now. That interview went well. And then I'm like, right after it ended, I was like, oh, fuck. I hope I recorded it. This guy had me a little nervous. Because um, he's like the most famous one so far. And he's like old school Brooklyn, like, ain't got time. Why are you calling me type jam? And even some of his questions. He was like, oh, you should have sent these to me before. I saw I had time to think about it. Listen, honey, you didn't even want to talk to me before. He kept 
like he would go back to the person that I'm doing the project with because that's who he has a relationship with and like ask questions, but he never talked directly to me. So like, how could I be sending you questions in advance, sir? But I didn't know like he was also a director. I thought he was like a performer. So, and the person, the nephew of the person that I'm working with sent me a video of this person in the video so maybe he was doing like an alfred hitchcock thing but he's a director i'm 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 gonna have to look it up i don't know if he's still directing but um he he gave me all the brooklyn attitude and i have a question in there about horoscopes and he was like oh i think that's all bullshit <laughs> okay anyway i made two packets of oatmeal so oh i just forgot it's out of the microwave it's hot two packets of oatmeal in a bowl i'm gonna add some butter to it i'm gonna add this on top of it and my monk fruit so let's let's get that going do you guys put butter in your oatmeal i was watching somebody a reactor and she you know they react to other people's youtube videos and she was like oh, i can't believe they put butter in there who does that um but butter and sugar that was a thing that's why i'm putting my monk fruit yeah i don't know is that like a country thing a southern thing a black thing do you guys put sugar and butter in your oatmeal or your grits or your Sometimes I'll do savory grits, like if I have cheese in it. It's not my favorite, I'm not going to lie. Like, that's not how I grew up eating, like, grits, cream of wheat, oatmeal, and all that. Anyway, I'm just talking. I'm hungry. Let me get this going, y'all. <laughs> but let me know. I'm curious if you do sugar and butter in your oatmeal. totally was late to a meeting, but I don't think it was that bad. Um, yeah, I finished my oatmeal. I've taken out my lunch um, from the freezer to thaw a little bit. I'm gonna do chicken marsala, penne pasta, roasted chicken breast, mushrooms, and creamy marsala wine sauce. I am switching to decaf. I was watching Chrissy B, which is why I was late to this um, meeting, unfortunately. But I'm looking, she doesn't have her wig on. And at first I was like, oh, her hair, I had judgments. I'm not gonna say, just there was immediate like reaction to her not having her wig on. And she has a good length. But the reaction was about where her hairline was falling and the thickness. And I'm wondering like, do I have some sort of image dysmorphia from like looking at social media? Cause a lot of these girls are wearing wigs. So earlier I was saying, oh, my hair is thin, but why am I claiming that? Do you know what I mean? Like my hair is what it is. I, but when they, when women buy the wigs, they get like different density. So you can get like 180% density. So of course it's gonna look thicker, but it's not necessarily how everybody's hair grows out of their head. I mean, I don't have thick hair. Like when I was younger, I did. It definitely has thinned over the years, but I, I don't know that I should just be claiming like it's thin. Like, um, I don't know. But between that and where your hairline falls. So like, yes, my hairline is going back a little bit here, but is it, this part is pretty strong. I feel like, although here it's not like a strong line. But it's not horrible. But when you have a wig on, of course your hairline, it that is strong because there's a, it's a wig and they do plucking to thin it out to make it look more natural. But, and also when you're wearing a wig, your hair is pulled down further because it has to be in front of your natural hairline. So I just wonder if I'm like comparing myself to like women who are wearing wigs and having that expectation when I shouldn't. You know what I mean? Like, sis, it's your natural hair. Anyway, I'm just trying to figure out how to give myself grace. I have an assignment that is social media-esque for work. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to put together a meeting. And yeah, I've had this much water, which how many is in here? I pour the...
the other water into here. So this is 16 ounces, so I've had eight. So I gotta finish this and do a whole other one of those, basically. Actually, I need to do two more of those, right? So that I get to the 32 ounces, 16 and 16. Um, oh no, that is, oh my God, I can't do the math. Let me hydrate. Anyway, I just, I had that thought about like my hair. Um, I think it's the same with the body. Like I don't have a BBL. I'm not gonna have this tiny waist and this big butt. Like that's not normal for most women. And just, you know, love my fupa. <laughs> it's not really, I don't think mine's technically a fupa because I imagine the fupa as like hanging. I just have like a pocket. I'm not even gonna claim a fupa, a fupa. I just have like a pocket. It's, it's not in my pelvic area or my punani area, whatever you want the P to stand for. So justice is ground. You want to go out in the rain or in the wetness? The snow, the snow did not stick. Um, it's actually not that cold out there or it's not that warm in here. The temperature variance is not great. But yeah, I think just like how we see ourselves and figure out like comparing ourselves to like not only influencers, but like famous people could be setting us up for failure. And I'm a grown ass woman asking this question. Imagine if you're like 14. You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna just be representing the natural girls. And I mean, I'm gonna continue with my upgrades. But as far as like, I, I can't be comparing myself to somebody who wears a wig. Like my hair is not gonna look like that. You know what I mean? It's not. Anyway, I just wanted to share that thought with you all. Let me know. Do you find yourself comparing yourself to like people on Instagram or like these big influencers or models? I don't compare myself to a model, honey. I'm not going to be no, no uh, Naomi Campbell or any of those. Nor do I think they are intended to look like that outside of the magazine. Yeah, they're going to look good walking down the street because they don't want somebody to be like, oh, I saw that girl. She was busted. But is that, is that the norm? Like when I go to work, people, I'm not surrounded by Naomi Campbell's. You know what I mean? Like what's the norm? What is looking like the best version of yourself? I think that's what I want to represent. For me and for anybody else who sees me, I just, I want it to be attainable. Um, Cause even like just the whole maintenance of getting your eyelashes done, getting your nails done, and y'all know I do mine at home. But that whole thing is like a job. I will say I'm enjoying that job, though. I'm enjoying the job of like loving myself, taking care of myself, spending that time with myself. And I realized like running from relationship to relationship, I never had time to do that. Like I was always and I was watching um, Glamazante and Lily earlier and some of the stuff was resonating with me. It's like. When you spend all of your time, like, focus on your relationship or, you know, and I'm a reformed people pleaser, pleasing my partner or just hanging out, that's time you're not spending with yourself, time you're not taking care of yourself, right? Like, the amount of time I spent over on Blue's couch on the weekends was time I could have been, like, doing my hair, doing my nails, having a massage. Um, he didn't enjoy massages the way that I did. He used to like to go to this, like, cheap-ass... Um, I don't know if they were Chinese, Asian place. I'm gonna say, I'm not sure if they were Chinese, Asian, Korean, where they would like massage you over your clothes. You could take your clothes off, but then they put this hard ass towel on you, which when you go to the spa, a hard ass towel is the last thing you expect. And I mean, when I say hard, it was like sandpaper and they'd be, I would be in there uchi ouch and like, and I would be raw when I left. I just didn't enjoy it. Like, I like a little eucalyptus, a little oil, a little tea. You know what I'm saying? Like, wine and dine me. Finesse me, something. So he didn't enjoy that. So as a result, I cut down on it. And I took him to Excel, which I enjoy. And he just complained about, like, the whole thing. And I was like, something is wrong with you. Like, you complained about this, but you enjoy, like... And it was a free massage because I treated him. So it wasn't the price that was bothering him you feel me but he wanted to go to the um the cheap asian place and like down in in a basement and i don't know like i mean this is how cheap the asian place is i'm not being shady i'm gonna break it down for you this is how cheap the asian place was you had to have permission to go to the bathroom 
and you had to ask for toilet paper to go to the bathroom and they would give you like a certain length. I'm not gonna say square by square, but maybe like four inches. Like you don't know what I have to do in this bathroom. Why am I, like, can I have a roll of toilet paper? You know what I'm saying? I wear a menstrual cup. You giving me like eight squares. That's not gonna help me. Like, but if I have to pull this cup out, dump it, rinse it, like I gotta have the tissue. Otherwise I'm getting blood all over my hands. Sorry to be graphic, but you know what I mean? Like. I'm a grown ass woman and I'm paying for a service. Why are you regulating the toilet paper? That's how cheap it was. Like, I'm not being like bougie. I'm saying this was like hella, hella cheap and ghetto. So never, ever, ever anywhere else in my life have I been, uh, Mexico. But Mexico, you can go and get your own, and Tijuana specifically. When I go, I just know to buy a roll of toilet paper. I just carry my own roll of toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? But it's a third world country. Like, dude, I'm in New York going to get a massage. Why can't I have a whole roll of toilet paper? You can collect it when I come back. I don't know who is in here selling this toilet paper. Like I'm I, I'm really serious. Like what was going on with the, like has something had to happen for you to be rationing out toilet paper. I, I want to know what the story is. I feel like it, it must be funny. Like you should put a poster on, you know what I mean? Like it's just weird. And then they like didn't want you to tip in on the credit card. They wanted you to tip in cash and it was like, I don't want to be involved in your fraudulent activity with the IRS. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be involved. Anyway, that was my rant. <laughs> Thank God we're not together anymore, right? But, ooh, ooh, oh my God. I'm so hood. See, I'm working in here. I have a desk in my room, but I'm working in here. So this Dell, I don't like PCs, has to stay charged. Otherwise it will go dead, like max an hour. I can unplug my MacBook. All day, it will still continue to run at optimum speed. Not these Dells. So anyway, I almost broke my neck. But yeah, so anyway, my whole point is like relationship-wise, taking care of yourself. I am celebrating being single because I really am getting to know myself, what I like, what I enjoy. And I don't have to check with nobody. What do you want to eat? What do you think? You know, it's all about what do I think and I really get to like wait for my answer. What do you want, Tanika? What do you want? And that's it and not have to like compromise or ask somebody else or so i'm enjoying that i'm just trying to figure out how to love myself within that and accept myself which is good because if i don't learn how to love myself for myself i can't ask somebody else to love me anyway so i'm not in a mental space to be in a relationship and i'm not gonna rush it i don't think i'm gonna be in a mental space for it for 2022 quite honestly i don't want to make the space for it i want to work on loving me does that make sense? Let me know if that resonates with you. It's just where I am. Oh my God, did I show you guys I was wearing the t-shirt my sister made for me? This is from the other channel. It's uh, it's seen better days when I have it on. I, I thought of it because I'm about to go put on a, sweat, a sweater because it's cold. It's I'm asking the heater to get it to 81 degrees in here. It is 71 degrees. The heater is struggling because it is freaking cold outside. Um. But yeah, let me put on a sweater. I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> it's five o'clock. <laughs> I'm just now heating up my lunch. I called my mom. I actually called my mom to tell her that I was having my biopsy next week, Friday. We didn't even, I, I, we didn't even get to that. <laughs> we didn't even get to that. But I had a good conversation with her. I don't know. These days when I have like a strong urge, I'm trying to get the microwave going. Sorry. When I have a strong urge to um to talk to my mom, I call her. So we talked for about an hour. She's good. She's sassy as ever. <laughs> I miss her. And we talked about the COVID, of course, because that's what's keeping us apart at this point. <sighs> and the foolishness and how the government, the U.S. government botched it. I was thinking about what you guys, some of you guys had said about and actually, some people commented. I don't even know if they're like regular subscribers or if they just saw the title or the thumbnail and, re and clicked on it. But I think I get that the U.S. government botched communication in, in many fronts, on many fronts. I get that. But I think if we take a step back, like it's bigger than Fauci because somebody commented like, read the book by Robert F. Kennedy about the truth about Fauci or whatever, which is... I'm not asking, I don't even know if I believe Fauci. I don't, what has Fauci done for me? You know what I mean? But this is a global situation. And so 
there are countries who got this right. Like Australia, very, very low infection rate. New Zealand, all the countries are doing it. So it doesn't really, like, I wouldn't put too much weight in what America is doing or Fauci is doing. If you don't trust the government, somebody was like, oh, because it's free, does that mean we should trust them? Nobody is saying that. And it's not free. You know, everything the government does is funded by taxpayers, right? The IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, collects our money to fund the government. So none of it is free. There might not be an out-of-pocket cost at time of service, but it's not free. So maybe you don't trust all of that, but look at the other countries and the data, like not on TikTok, not on Facebook, but what's happening around the world. Other countries got it right and we did not. However, that doesn't change the data and the science. If you are not vaccinated, you are going to have a higher viral load than if you are, which makes you more contagious, which means you are spreading it more than someone who is vaccinated, right? Like that's just pure data. Not just from America, if you don't trust America. All around the world. Anyway, so yeah, we were just talking about that because it's like both of us are a little frustrated. But I think part of it is the government botched it. I I mean, that's what I'm getting from when people are pushing back is they don't trust the... Americans don't trust the American government. And so... uh, But I do think it should be a requirement. Just like it's a requirement to wear shoes to work. Um, for your safety, I think it should be a requirement for you to be vaccinated for everybody's safety to come to work. And I don't think you should get any more government handouts if you are refusing to be vaccinated. I just don't. That's my opinion. Um, I'm the taxpayer. You know, you, whoever it is, not you, but whoever it is is getting free money. You're getting the taxpayer's money. So, and yes, you paid into it as well. Fair enough. But for my portion... I don't want it. So, oh wait, I got to let that sit for a minute. That smells good. That's the chicken marsala. And then I think tonight, I, I've i done really well in my water. And I think that definitely impacts my sugar intake, my desire to have sugar. I need to eat that yogurt. I need to open that up because otherwise it'll go bad. And it has the probiotics in there. Um, We have this that I can do. There's actually two things, which I'm now I'm like, maybe I should freeze one of them. The chicken margarita. I have those seared chicken breasts and a t- classic tomato and basil sauce. So I actually could do noodles like pasta. I don't know why I called them noodles. Hi, I'm a grown woman, but you know what I mean? I could do that and maybe put them in one of the stasher bags. And like, then I have it ready because I also have this, well, I have this grilled chicken. I don't know that this one needs um, pasta, but I have the meatballs. They, they definitely need some pasta sis. So maybe, and maybe it's not like spaghetti. Maybe it's, um, let me see what else I have before. Let's use what we have and not buy any things. But maybe we have like a shell pasta. I don't know if I used them all for um, Thanksgiving. I'm okay with spaghetti. <laughs> or fettuccine. Or angel hair. I'm okay with all of that. And I have some wheat ones in here. So I'm trying to think. I think, oh yeah. There is some pasta over there, too, on the counter. Is that the, all the pasta I have? <gasps> There's macaroni. The macaroni noodle. Maybe I'll do that. So, I don't know if you guys can see. I have penne. Is that how you say it? Penny? I One of my exes, his uncle was a chef. And his girlfriend's name was Penny. Or his wife's name was Penny. So, he used to always call her Penny Pasta. I don't You know, it was like one of those dad jokes. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to say penne. Hold on. So we have it here. We have the penne and the macaroni. So maybe I don't make it all at once. I can make up. I'll let me boil this for tonight, the penne, and we'll have that with the marinara sauce. Um, Yikes. And we'll go. Oh, look, there's more pasta back there. Ooh. This, there's a lot. What is that? The farf, farfalle? I'm not going to move all this. My hands are full, guys. Sorry. But you can see it. Like the little bow tie, basically. We could do that with the meatballs, too. Although I feel like meatballs needs a sturdy pasta. Let's just get this going for tonight. <laughs> Let's s- slow it down, mama. Slow it down. I'm going to put the water on now so I have it for later because I'm probably not going to eat. Uh, well, it's five and I'm eating my lunch now. So I'll probably have the dinner like eight o'clock. So let's just get the pasta done, cooked, settled, and um, 
start on this editing. I, tomorrow is a light day. So the goal tomorrow is to finish up my vision board. So tonight I should do some cutting up of the vision board. I want to get on the board still something about wealth and health. I think those are missing from them from there. I have resting and I want, I think more family stuff. So I have the better homes and garden books that are these. I'm going to cut out of these. Um, like real simple. The girls knock these down. House beautiful. And then yeah, better homes and gardens. So I can cut from there. I don't know. I have to think about what I mean by wealth because I said I want to do like seven figures for my net worth. But like, what is that? Like I can't just put dollar signs on there. Maybe some bags. I got the bag. I got the bag. That's what I'm going to do. I have bags. Like, like, yeah. Okay, let me stop talking about it. I know what I want to do there. And then I have to find, like, babies and pregnant people and whatever else. But anyway, that's what's going on. Glad I got to talk to my mom. I wish she would be willing to FaceTime, but that's not her That's not her thing. But she was sassy as ever, so I know that she's good. She said her hand is finally healed from the tendonitis, so she hasn't gardened yet. She was trying to get out in the garden, and my sister talked her out of it, which is good, because if you think I'm team too much... Honey, you don't know the half of it. Miss Lorraine? Mm-mm. <laughs> She's a couple teams too much. Anyway, Justice is looking. You have chicken from last night. You eat the chicken, honey. And you'll get some more chicken tonight. I need to get them some Nutrica. I need to put that on a list. Because they haven't. their appetite hasn't been as strong. And Justice, I can feel like her little bones. Even though she has her fluffy hair. I don't want her to lose too much weight. I need to ask Cheyenne what she did with the puppy scale. And just check. Anyway, I'm going to eat. I'm going to put a pot of water on. And then I'm going to eat. Um, and once the water's boiling, I'll add the pasta. What are you making for dinner, hottie? Are you cooking for yourself? How are you managing your food? I think I did well with these meals. This is good. I know I didn't have it last night, but we're going to give me grace. I'm not going to beat myself up. We're just going to take it one day at a time. Today's a new day. And today I'm cooking, sis. I love this pot. I was going to show you guys um, how I strain it, but I'll mess around and burn myself because I need both hands. But basically, these handles just come up and obviously over the sink, you pull this out and then you pour the water off, which is good because you don't have to use a separate colander. This is also a vegetable steamer. So I think I got it at Macy's. If I can find it, I'll link it. I don't get anything from it, but I, and just in case you want a nice little steamer pot, I will uh, I'll hook you up. <laughs> so there, I um, drain the water off and I leave it in this so it's not like in the steamer basket so it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan because the pan is still hot, right? And I don't want to tear my pasta. Um, and it just keeps it nice and juicy. I'm going to let that cool because, I, like I said, I just ate. It is uh, 6 o'clock, and I'm probably not going to eat for another two hours, so I'll just let that sit there. All right, I'm done with work. I'm going to put away my computer and, um, yeah, move. put this all away. I don't like to leave it out, and then we'll move to our second location and start editing. And I'm watching um, Gina Jenny. Always a good time. She's right. We all need a thick best friend. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's 7.58. I'm editing the vlog. I just realized I 
Remember when I said I'm going to edit both of them at the same time and only post one and I cut it short and I pushed one today? I put the fresh direct meal in the wrong vlog. Um, yeah, I put the fresh direct meal in the wrong vlog. And anyway, really what I'm looking at is I ordered some from the germ store yesterday, the reason I wanted to tell you guys. And... I went in here to look at my rewards and I just realized I can create a referral code and you'll get 15% off and I'll get $15 credit when you spend $50 or more. So I'm going to put a referral code in yesterday's vlog and in today. I'm going to put it in all of them because that's where I get the beauty fix box. So if you guys are interested in getting the beauty fix box, like you can get either one, you can go on there and pick out any box that you want. They have them like pre-made. <clears throat> which is how I started. And then I liked that one. So then I ordered the subscription, which I recommend that because I wasn't sure if it was going to be all little stuff. And like I said, they do give like a full size, but it's usually the germ store brand. That's a full size, right? Sometimes it's the other brand. But anyway, I'm going to drop the code down below if you guys want to try it. I get a lot of stuff uh, from germ store. And now that I can get a referral um, and get you guys 15% off and get me $15. Like, that is, that's a win-win for everybody. So let me figure out how this works. Uh, if it'll just give me a link. Oh, yeah. It gives me a unique link. Does it let me copy one or share your code? Tell your friend to enter the code below when creating an account. Um, so you can enter the code when you create a, an account. Tanika-R2. Or you can just use the referral link. I think the referral link is easier. I'm going to put the link down in the description box. I'm so excited for us. Whoop, whoop. This sauce is really good. I, you know, I had to nibble. <laughs> the sauce is really good. I have another chicken breast, so I can have that for lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna have more pasta. I put the um, chicken in its own in the glass mm, container. It could have been cooked in that cardboard, but I knew, or I don't think it's cardboard, whatever it is, that recyclable material that I have the cauliflower in. But I knew I wanted to mix butter into my cauliflower, so, and I didn't want to put it in that plastic bag. But I'll use that. I'm going to put the pasta 
in the glass bowl with the rest of the chicken and the sauce. So I can have that for tomorrow. And it has a lid. It's one of those, it's Ziploc. It's one of those that can go from like oven to refrigerator or freezer and dishwasher. One of my favorite things. So I'm gonna put the pasta all in there with the chicken and the sauce, mix it together. I might as well put the cauliflower in there too, right? It's not, well, no, maybe that'll make it too mushy because I did steam it. I was going to say it's not going to get mushier, but it's already pretty soft because I steamed it. So I'll probably, I'm going to have it tomorrow, so I'll just put it in the refrigerator and I'll just put like a covering over it. Either foil or the beeswax cover. But yeah, oh my God, you guys, I did so good with food today. I'm so proud of myself. So I have breakfast, I have the oatmeal with the berries. Two things of oatmeal. I don't know what's going on in there. Then I had the chicken marsala. And now I'm having the uh, the chicken marinara. Not a lot of basil in here, I'm not gonna lie. But I taste it, but I was hoping that, I mean, I guess, I don't know. That might be hard to keep fresh, basil fresh in there. It does have basil flavor. Yeah, this is good. And I'm almost done with the water. This is my last one. I oh, emptied. This is my. So I did two of these bottles. Yay, us. Uh, so how'd you do with your food and your water today? Hmm. One day at a time, right? One day at a time. All right, I'm going to eat. So I'm going to sign off so I can enjoy my food and watch another YouTube video, edit for you guys so I can get it up for tomorrow. Tomorrow, my um, production partner is coming over. We're going to shoot his interview here. I'm kind of excited. He's going to bring his camera. I'm doing my camera. He's going to bring a lab mic and then mic it from also from my camera. So I want to ask him if I can watch edit. Because it's like, one's going to be ambient sound, like room sound, and the other one is going to be single source sound. I don't know if that means anything to you. I'm in television. I get, like, geeked out about these things. <laughs> so, we just have to make sure we mark the sound so it's in sync. Well, yeah. I don't have to edit it. But I know these are things to think about. So I'm just curious as to... Oh, shoot. Because he's a director by trade. Like, I made a mess. You guys can't see it. That's all right. I'll clean it up in a minute. Um, Like, he directs for film and TV. So we'll see. Mmm. This pasta was a good choice. It's hearty. It must have like wheat or something in it. It's definitely heartier than the pasta that I had at lunchtime. At first I thought, did you see when I did the cayenne? It, the top popped open on the wrong side. So it dumped out. So that's why I was mixing and mixing, trying to get it throughout all of the bowl with cauliflower and the butter. And then of course I had a big giant sneeze because of the pepper. Had I been thinking I would have roasted some garlic and made like a garlic butter for it, but it's okay because that's the type of dish you have to wash it that night and I'm trying to go to bed. It's already like 10.30. Oh, I didn't clear the microwave. It is, it's 10.45. So let me eat. The goal is to get in the bed by 11.30. So I got to wash my face. I found a cream in there um, that helps build back the protective barrier. It came in one of my beauty fix boxes. It's like a day and night serum. Daytime is supposed to help against the blue light of the computer. And the nighttime is supposed to help protect, build back the barrier. So I'm going to use that one just to be on the safe side. Um, I think I'm still not ready to put anything in my neck. I just want to let it do what it do. But yeah. Oh, it's healing though. But I think I got to stop touching it and putting stuff on it. So... Once it has like a distinguished scab, I'll put the post-treatment cream on there. And 
I ordered another cream that should be here, which is what I was checking on. <laughs> well, I was checking to see how many points I had based on that last order and when that order was arriving. So I'll use that. But yeah, it's um. This reminds me of, unfortunately, <laughs> a very bad relationship I had. This would not be an unusual thing to have uh, on my neck when I was in that relationship. Luckily, we're past that, and this is just me <laughs> overzealous and trying to be pretty. <laughs> That's why you got to take life one day at a time, because you don't know what tomorrow brings. If I would have tried to think it too far forward, I wouldn't have imagined this life that I have now. How could I have, you know? Like, I had no frame of reference. I was a girl working at Little Caesar Pizza and trying to get my associate's degree. So, you come a long way, baby. Ha, huh, like my grandma used to say, you just got to keep on living. So, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to live well, right? Eat well, sleep well, take good care of ourselves. We're going to live our best life. <laughs> and on that note, hotties, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow.